everyone needs to plan for the future. Some Albertans are fortunate. They've had the opportunity to prepare for retirement through workplace pension plans such as the local authorities pension plan or the public service pension plan. But more than 70% of Albertans have no workplace pensions. They're on their own when it comes to saving for their retirement. The Redford government is tabling plans that would trash the retirement security of those who have it. This isn't going to help anyone. They've tabled changes that will put an end to early retirement, forcing workers in physically demanding jobs to continue working after they're no longer able to. They're planning to undermine cost of living adjustments so that seniors' incomes stagnate as costs go up. And they're proposing to cap how much employees can contribute to their pension plans. Contribution rates are an important tool for pension plan managers to keep their promises to retirees. If a contribution cap is put in place, then there's no way the government can guarantee that anyone's benefits will be safe, including the benefits of current retirees and the current workforce. These changes will force hundreds of thousands of Albertans to work longer for what could be significantly reduced benefits. So you'd think that the government would be able to produce evidence that the plans are in crisis and that no other alternatives exist. But so far, no such evidence has been produced. The facts are simple. Alberta's public sector pension plans are in good shape. The province has the youngest workforce in the country, with three workers paying into these plans for every retiree. And despite the ups and downs of the stock market, a plan is already in place to have the pension plans in the black. The government is using misleading messaging and questionable numbers to justify attacks on the pensions of more than 200,000 public sector workers and 90,000 pensioners. These people have earned their modest pensions that pay out an average of about $12,000 to $15,000 a year. Our governments have to stop the attack on existing pension plans. Good pensions that workers and employers pay for themselves should be celebrated, not undermined. If anything, governments should make it easier for employers and employees to establish pension plans that provide secure benefits that Albertans can count on. Instead of ripping security away from those who have it, we need to respond to the crisis by doing with pensions what we did so successfully with Medicare we need to expand the umbrella. <laughs>